Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry and this is a good one to win. And let's see what he can do here today. <laughs> TPC Louisiana is a very interesting golf course made on some pretty flat land, Rich. Absolutely, and this hole shows you exactly what to expect. Second shot to a very tiny green. Tiny greens dotting this entire layout. Hit one close here and you can expect to make a birdie. That's not the shot they're after. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. How close was that to going down? And if this can go down, he'll save par. This is looking solid, what they wanted. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Rich, if you missed a birdie opportunity at the first, you've certainly got one here at the second. Yes, yeah, par five is pretty much just straight away. You got to avoid those bunkers down the left hand side. For those players laying up, you got to lay it up shy of the big bunker down the right hand side. This green sits ever so slightly above the fairway. And again, they're just not that big of targets. It really is a cool golf course designed by Pete Dye. Rich, New Orleans, or should I say, New Orleans. How good is it here to be on the bayou? This is a special week. It's a great eating week and a real festival atmosphere. It is, and it's hosted on a golf course that provides plenty of fireworks as well. What a cool design this is. It's wide open off the tee, but then the greens are minuscule in size, and they have these little runoff areas where it doesn't look like you're going to be in much trouble, but you start missing a couple of greens in the row, and you start getting these head scratching. Well, do I bump it in there? Do I flop it on the green? Do I take it low, high, medium, bump it into the... I mean, you have so many different ways of playing shots around these greens that you can outthink yourself. And I think that's what happens with a lot of these players is that usually you have one option when you miss the green. Here, you got a whole lot of them. So this golf course grabs your attention, especially around the greens, which makes it quite difficult for a lot of these players. Oh, what a touch of class, holes it from the sand. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. The third hole is a, a long par three measuring 230 yards. Be careful of the wind here. You can't always feel it as those trees on the left sometimes block it out. Missing it right is an obvious no-no, but missing it left is no guaranteed of an up and down either. The green slopes away pretty severely over there. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, a nine foot chance here. This is what they have left for par. It's tracking. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. 
Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the fourth. Getting ready to play their third. Oh my! Ha! Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. Let's take a look at the current standings. TPC Louisiana might be known as a birdie fest. However, you're going to find plenty of challenges, including the par 4 4. How can bunkers that are so minuscule be so agonizing? That's exactly what these are down the left hand side of the fourth hole. You avoid those, and you get a good look at the green for your second shot that gently works away from the player. And he's down there. Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. This one headed left and not coming back. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one was going in. A par putt on the table. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. That gets the job done. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Rich, the fifth is a shortish par four by today's standards, but still enough there to mess with your ball. Players want to move the tee shot from right to left on this hole because there's some trees on the tee box that'll kind of force you that direction. So driver may not be the play. The second shot, however, that's where it gets interesting. This green absolutely belongs in a skate park. This has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it. It is a very cool design. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Looks like this one might be in the bunker. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. A bit short with that effort. Wow. Well, how about the concentration to pull that shot off? Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Ooh, that looks like a pure strike. Unreal display this week with that wand. He's currently tied for 12. The six is a tremendous par four. Plenty of golf hole this one. Water all the way down the left hand side so that it's going to shove your tee shot out to the right, which make that second shot so much longer. Not much to the screen. It's fairly flat, but finding it too. Well, that's a tall order. And Henny, what's he looking at here? This breeze just starting to blow, but it's a helpful breeze. It's one that you like. Got to club down a little bit. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This putt is for a spot inside the top ten.
Hooked on a great line. Well, that'll play. I will take that and a spot the top 10 to boot. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 7th. Wow, what a save. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. The seventh provides a great opportunity if you can get a good driveway. This par five is a lovely hole. There are two menacing bunkers on this hole. The far one, the one right in the middle of the fairway, it looks like a zit from the back tee box. That is not the place to be. This next one from the beach. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Ah, uh, great shot. A couple under at this stage. Currently tied for sixth. Choosing the nine iron here. That's inside the house of opportunity. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Looking for another birdie here. by the hole. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently a couple under for the round. The eighth is a short par four, Rich, and uh, modern players are starting to try to dry this green. They are, although I don't quite see it that way. It's such an easy second shot if you just lay it up short of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. You're not going to have much more than a flip sand wedge, gap wedge maybe, to a green that once again has a lot of movement to it. Yeah, that one will play. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from about 105 yards... Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. A wonderful part, and that puts some real pressure on their rival now. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. He was on a good line. Well, that's going to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Colin Morikawa currently sitting in the lead as we check the rest of the standings. The front nine finishes in a unique style, a par three of 210 yards length. This is actually a par three on the car, but most players look at it as a par four because there is nothing simple about this hole. If you bail out to the right, you're gonna fall off into a low area where it's nearly impossible to chip it up close without taking a risk. So most players are just resigned to making four and moving on. John, give us an update, what's shaking? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th.
Uh, it'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it just a tap in awaits. And this putt to move into second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. That one race by. Bit of work coming back. A spot in the top five on the line here. Not a bad line, this. Now, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Well, Rich, as we make the turn to the back nine, what are your thoughts so far? Look. So far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. <laughs> Wonderfully played. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Unable to find the green on this one. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Here's Will Zalatoris. What a shot. That is outstanding and snatches a birdie as well. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. And here we are with the third shot. He's two shots back. Oh yeah, what a shot that was. And that will take him to four under. Why not take another look at that effort? Now look how they attacked this one. one off the lead after that hole. The par 5 11th, uh, very gettable, if, Rich, you can avoid that monster tree about 100 yards out. Exactly. Tee shots, once again, you're threading it between a couple of bunkers, but the second shot, there's a tree about 75 yards short of this green, and you've got to figure out a way around it. Do you draw it around it? Do you hit a fade around it? What do you do? No easy task for any of these players. Green sits above the player just a little bit, and again, has a lot, a lot of movement in it. Getting ready to play their third. And just one shot off the lead. Beauty of a chip shot there. Judging it beautifully. An opportunity for a birdie here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. And this player is moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Well, the 12th is certainly one of the stronger holes on the back nine. This par four measuring just under 500 yards. You want to try and hug the left-hand side as best you can to shorten up the hole as much as you can, but still avoid that bunker if at all possible. Second shot, the green up there sits a little bit caddy corner to the players, so working the golf ball in there for left to right for your second shot would be the play. Handy effort, that one. Playing from around 190 yards out. He shares top spot. 
That could play. And not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Has to putt this one downhill. Okay, steady now. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Rich, the 13th is a short par four, but a really good one, depending on how much you want to take off. There's really no real reason to go right at the green Luke with a tee shot even if you have the power to get there because you just can't stop it on the green if anything you want to hit it out to the right where your next shot is going straight up the green this is a very flat green but is perched well above the fairway it's a wonderful birdie opportunity playing from 110 yards out is currently tied for the lead A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. That's pretty tidy. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will move him to six under par. John, give us a small update. Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. Here's a chance to get up and down from the green side bunker. That's inside the range. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, for all the opportunities 13 provides you, you don't get too many here at the par 3 14th. It's a beast. As easy of a birdie opportunity as the 13th was, 14, yeah, not so much here. Even though the green is quite large in size, it's difficult to hit with a long iron. And he's safely on the green with that shot. 14 feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking good. Time to see what's happening over at the 15th. Let's take a look at Will Zalatoris. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The 15th is certainly no cakewalk either. A par four measuring just under 500 yards. This is the time where you need to have the best drive of the day. Take it out to the right, avoid the bunkers down the left-hand side. In the green, once again, it's got some movement into a high spot in the front, a low area, and then a high area in the back. When the pin's all the way back, good luck making four. Playing from around 210 yards here, he's got a two-stroke buffer. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not bad. Chance to move to eight under here.
I can't believe this. Is this going to go in? Ah, that's frustrating. And this one is for his par. Now leading by one shot. Well, as we approach the final holes here at TPC Louisiana, the short par 416, Rich, it's a good one, but also a challenging one. Only the brave will take driver out on this short hole. Long irons, hybrids, fairway woods down the left-hand side is just fine. Not really what they were hoping for there. And he has that ball lying. He's got a bit of trouble here. Bad lie just off the fairway. Ouch. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. Yeah, that lie was nasty, but what a shot from there. Here's Will Zalatoris. Oh, stop it. What a way to make you par. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Putting for a par here. So, still currently in the lead after that hole, but Tiger Woods is lurking in second place. If you want to win at TPC Louisiana, you've got to hit a couple of very important shots late. The tee shot here at 17, Rich, is one of them. A tee shot that no player likes to face. Water all the way down the left-hand side. The bailout zone out to the right falls away from the green. No fun whatsoever. A tad wayward, but still on the surface. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. was a gallant attempt. No, that's too bad. Three feet to go here to the hole. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Checking the scoreboard now. This player is currently sitting in a tie for the lead with Tiger Woods. The closing hole at TPC Louisiana has water all the way down the right, Rich, but that's not its only issue. Bailing out to the left, you'll find some menacing bunkers that you want no part of. However, if you find the fairway, going for it in two will be very tempting. Sadly, this one will make a splash. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Always a tough shot to get out of. 
Looks like they have a bad lie here in the sand. Okay, step one complete. Out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. Putting now for a bogey. Hey, nice looking line. The putt drops and this player is finished for the day. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for second. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.